Hello church family, Pastor Vince here. And I wanted to take a moment, first of all, say thank you for investing your time into small groups. Now, if you will allow me as the pastor of Journey Church to do some shepherding, I want to kind of help guide us into how and why we do small groups here at Journey Church. Because I believe that if you've come from another church background or no church background, you kind of have a preconceived idea of small groups. And so tonight I want to share with us our basic philosophy when it comes to small groups. And that is this, everyone cares, everyone contributes, and everyone is a soul winner. Now let me dissect that real quick. When it comes to everyone cares, here is our responsibility as the body of Christ. I would encourage you that when you come to small groups, you're developing relationships so that go far beyond just a Sunday morning meeting, which means when we gather together on Sunday morning, I'm asking you to step into the role of caring for one another. Look around on Sunday. Who do you notice is not there? And then throughout the week, take an opportunity to reach out to them, pray for them, ask them, let them know that as part of the body of Christ, we suffer when we're not uh, together. And so that's what everyone cares is all about. And you're gonna have some opportunity tonight to pray for people and care for people. The second aspect is everyone contributes. One of the aspects of small groups that we have implemented is that we gather together around a meal time. And we have asked everyone in a small group who comes and participates to contribute part of the meal. Now, here's the pastor shepherding, if you will. I want us to, to really understand that many of us cook for a family of three, four, maybe a family of five. And when we come together in a small group, as you can look around and see, there's more than five people. In other words, there's probably somewhere around a dozen or more people meeting together. And so when you prepare a food to bring, when you come to contribute, keep that in mind. So if your job is to bring drinks, don't bring just a couple two liters. Bring about six two liters, bring some tea, you know, make sure there's plenty for everyone. Uh, a, a good rule of thumb, better to have too much than not enough. If you're responsible for bringing sour cream and cheese because you're doing a, a potato bar night, uh, make sure you're bringing plenty for 19, 20 people. Uh, a little tub of sour cream is not gonna work. Make sure you're bringing enough. Now, again, I'm, I'm not trying to harp on this concept. What I am trying to help us to do is understand that we as a body of Christ, everyone contributes. It has been a joy over the years to see people who at the last moment have had to cancel and not be able to make it. But because they understand the principle of contributing and because they had already signed up to bring something, they would drop off that food item to the host home to make sure that everyone else got to enjoy, even though at the last second they couldn't be a part of it, the small group meeting. So that's what contributing means. Now, part of this process is also to remember that if you happen to be first in line, uh, just get a little bit of food uh, and make sure that everyone has plenty. Um, I want us to be sensitive to the host home leader and the small group leader to make sure that they carry a lot of weight in their house to make sure the house is clean, make sure that it's tidy, make sure that there's food prepared. In fact, the host home leader brings the biggest dish. And so we want to make sure that everyone is contributing, that we're providing enough for everyone. And then lastly, everyone is a soul winner. What that means is simply this, that there's going to be times that friends and family members don't feel comfortable in a large group setting of coming to a church service. We totally understand that. We get that. And that's why we believe small groups are so important, because perhaps you can invite someone to a small group who would feel much more comfortable in the setting rather than a Sunday morning. Now, speaking of Sunday morning, here in just a moment, your small group is going to divide into multiple small groups. And quite possibly your small group leader has already gotten with you about who can lead the secondary group meeting. And so we're gonna break down Sunday morning's message with some questions and answers uh, and discussion time. And that's why I always encourage you, if you miss Sunday morning before small group, the messages are online. You can watch and follow and get caught up for what's going to be discussed the week of small groups. 
Now, normally at this time, I would show you kind of a, a three minute recap. But because of the length of this video already, I'm not going to do that. Instead, we're just gonna turn you back over to your small group leaders, allow them to kind of coach us through some questions and answers. And I believe that as we launch into small groups and doing life together, that we truly are doing what scripture says, that irons sharpens iron. And so we become more in tune with what the Holy Spirit's doing in our lives because we're connected to one another as the body of Christ. Again, thank you for investing your time. I hope you hear our small heartbeat about everyone cares, everyone contributes, and everyone's a soul winner. God bless you. We'll see you Sunday.